Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to our Homburg Tall campaign. And I've never gone tall before, so this is going to be a new experience for me and probably for a lot of viewers, too. Who plays tall? Who does this? I don't know, but Paradox says it's, it's viable and it's something that you can and should do. So we're going to try it, darn it. Ottomans have taken Constantinople and moved their capital there. Good job, Ottomans. Cleese will give Brunswick war reps. Okay. We have three nations supporting our independence right now. Mecklenburg, Pomerania, and Brunswick. They all dislike the Hansa, and the Hansa is our evil overlord. He's so evil. November of this year, our truce will go away, so we should be able to declare independence at that point. Okay, recall from East Frisia. He is ready to... No, he's not. He's not ready to support independence for some reason. Interesting. I thought he was. I thought it was like 25 versus 15. Well, it's close. It's real close. He might be willing to support independence at some point here. Let's see. You're allied to the Hansa. That won't work. You're allied to the Hansa. That won't work. What about Bremen? Uh, you, you don't really care for the Hansa. Hmm. But you don't have any negative opinion either. Maybe after the war. I kind of feel like after the war, some of this stuff might roll our way, but we'll see. Let's get relations up with Brandenburg. And just anyone who's a power in the area should be good relations. Sweden will lose his claims on Skåne, Jomtland, Halland, and Blekinge. And he paid war reps. Okay. And he broke his truce or broke his alliance with Lithuania. So Sweden is still a vassal of Denmark, and he lost his cores. He had cores here, here, here. Those are gone. And he had another core on Jomtland, which is also now gone. So that was a really, really, really bad war for Sweden, which really sucks. I thought for sure he would win. Hesse will cede Cassell to Brunswick. Oh, wow, Brunswick. Good job. Good job, Brunswick. I'm glad you're helping me out here. Gelray declared war on Utrecht. Okay. Cleves has dishonored the, the alliance. Lauenberg has honored the alliance. And Frisia has honored the alliance. Okay. So what's going on? Gel Ray is at war with just Utrecht. Utrecht who has no allies. That's hilarious. So Gel Ray is getting bigger. Do we have a force limit of four yet? Do we? Do we? Do we? Nope. All right. Well, why don't we build some boats then? Lauenberg wants access? You got it, Lauenberg. We can totally be friends. It's, it's not like I have a claim on you or anything. Oh, no! Lose 10 Republican tradition. This is terrible because it's going to make increasing our stability very expensive. But we got to do it. I need that. I need those ducats. And uh, it's better than losing stability. A lot better than losing stability. Losing stability as a republic is, like, horrifying. It's good that you don't lose stability when your leader dies as a republic. That would just ruin everything. What's our current mission? Improve relations with Verden. Ah, okay. Novgorod will cede Olenets, Kolm, Archangel, Kolmgori, Kovopal, Torzok, and Tivakin to Muscovy. Wow! So Novgorod's now reduced to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces. All they have left is seven provinces. Man, Muscovy got big quick. And uh, yeah, that little war where I said Aragon's got this, they got this. They got this. I want to see what the peace deal's like, because it looks like Portugal wants some land over here too, or else he would hand it over to Aragon. I want to see this peace deal. What's the war score up to? He's at 53 war score. Okay, our truce with the Hansa is over. So we need to see if uh, we're ready for war. Are my allies at war? No, no. No, my allies are ready to go. Let's declare war. Actually, Bremen, would you be willing to help me? No. Frisia? Okay, Frisia would help me if he wasn't at war. Hmm. Do I want to go now or do I want to wait for Frisia to help? It 
it's a tough choice. If I go now, I'm pretty much guaranteed to get independence. I would just love to have Frizia help. I think first things first, I need access in my allies' lands. So let's get that. Because if I declare war right now, I guarantee you Hansa and Lüneburg will just stomp my army. So we don't want them to stomp my army. We want to be able to get out of here. Like that. Let's also get access in Mecklenburg. Oh, wait, he won't? Why not? Oh, because you rival my liege. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, well, once the war starts, we can walk away. Interesting. Let me slow down time just a bit. How many troops does uh, Friesland have over here? Oh, we could, it wouldn't show me. They probably have like seven. Because I see 14 total, so they probably have seven. It'd be nice to have those seven on my side. We can see Pomerania has seven. Brunswick probably has seven. Mecklenburg probably has seven. I'm just guessing here. Seven's a, a good guess, though. You know, we might want to improve relations with Denmark as well. Because it looks like he's going to keep his union over uh, Sweden. Oh, he got the claim on my capital. How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, Frisia went hostile again. He was, he was hostile, and then we improved relations. He went neutral. But then he finished fabricating his claim, and that sent him back to hostile. So he probably won't help my independence. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at what look at what Aragon just took. He took Mercia, Cuenca, Soria, and Rioja. He took all the border with Castile. Holy shit. He didn't even have any claims, did he? Oh, no, he did. He had two claims. All right. So that'll lower the coring cost. But wow, yeah, 39 aggressive expansion. Let me see the coalition map mode. Uh, 57, yeah, France could coalition Aragon right now. Ooh. And he's not done with the war yet, either. He's still at war with Navarra and England, and he's probably going to take Navarra as a vassal, or full an X, which will give him even more aggressive expansion. France declared war on England. There we go. England's allies are not that strong. Connacht and Tyrone. Let's see, four ducats or prestige. I think I want the prestige here. Brilliant government. Nice. I like brilliant government. That's a good event. Savoy next his vassal, Montferrat. Ottomans have declared war on Venice. That's fun. I'm going to dock my navy up. I think it's almost time to declare war. We're going to wait for relations with Verdun to get to 100 because that's our mission. It's too bad he won't support my independence, but that's okay. I can understand. Utrecht is about to fall. Trier will see Koblenz to Mainz. Trier will be forced to give Mainz war reps. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mainz took over half of Trier. Interesting. That's actually really good for Mainz. Usually they don't do much at all. All right, third ship is done. We're going to mothball the fleet. Because we're not going to use them during the war. There's no way we can defeat the Hansa's navy. They have 15 ships. All right, this should be the last month for improving relations for Den. There we go. Come on home. Yay, completed our mission. Reputation go up. All right, now will you support my independence? No. Darn it. Oh man, Denmark is friendly towards the Hansa. That's just gross. That is just gross. That is not allowed. All right, well, let's see who would be interested in joining our war. We're going to lose three stability and gain three war exhaustion, which sucks. The goal is to defend our capital, and we're going to call in all of our allies. All right, well, before we do that, let's raise the fort. Get my garrison up. We'll give it maybe... Let's see... Garrison will go up to 3,000. All right. Navarre become a vassal of Aragon. Oh, goodness. How much AE is this? 62 AE. You know, it's not that bad. The only nation that can coalition him are England and France. Oh, no, no. Not even England. England has a truce. So, yes, yeah, just France. 
Castile has a truce, and no one else had 50. So despite taking a lot of land there, he took five provinces, uh, he wound up with only one nation that can coalition him, and France probably doesn't care. He probably doesn't care about Aragon. All right, watch my garrison. It's at 1600, 19. So three more months and then war. Raise the funding on the army. I wonder if uh, the Hansa gets suspicious when they see me support supporting my fort and raising uh, the mor morale of my army. You think they know? Nah, the AI is too dumb. They don't know. Slow down time. And it's time for war. Let's get independent, bros. Let's do it. Do it. One last check. See if anyone else would be willing to support me. No. 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 I mean, it's worth a look, right? No. Nope. 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 I mean, it, it, it's always worth a look. Doesn't matter if you don't get anyone, it's always worth a look. All right, let's do it. So come on back from Denmark and let's get independent. Put our leader in the army. Wow, he is terrible, a 101. That is just, I have no words. All right, I've had enough of your crap, Hansa. It's time for you to go down. Get in my belly. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to co-belligerent anyone. There's no point. And uh, we're going to have 14 troops right next to my face right at the start of the war. So we're going to retreat over here into the Pomerania's lands. Lose three stability. But that's okay. All right, go this way. All of his allies are in the war. Now, since I'm black flagged, he can't actually attack me right now. And this is... This is good for us. It means we don't have to worry about fighting this 14 stack just yet. We can fight them when we want to by going back to our capital. Uh, what I want to do is get troops in Lubeck so we get the siege of Lubeck. I don't want anyone else to siege that. Especially not uh, Pomerania or Mecklenburg. If Brunswick sieges it, it's not a problem. He'll probably hand it to us. All right, I'm going to stay black flagged right here for a little while. No general, huh? Okay, you have a general, a 2-1. And a 0-3? Are you kidding me? Lunenburg got a 0-3-3. Wow. So good. Sitting here with my 1-0, which is just garbage. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh. Pomerania's got a nice one. A 2-2. Two, two. That'll help. All right. Now we're going to go unblack flag. Wait. Not yet. Not until Pomerania comes over, because I can't really win that battle. Oh, Brunswick's got 10 soldiers. Nice. A 0-2. All right, what we're going to do is come come help Brunswick, and we're going to put our check mark on, and hopefully we can get Brunswick over here and go crush Oldenburg together. This is the plan. Come on, Brunswick. Come on, Brunswick. You and me, bro. You and me, bro. No? Oh, here we go. He's, he's, he's following me. He's following me. All right, let, let's go over here instead. Yeah, because this guy's got low morale. Oh, yeah, this is good. Let's do it. All right, we're uh, locked into this battle. Now I'm going to turn off the check mark, and I'm going to go straight to Lubeck. I don't want anyone else to go to Lubeck. Uh, you know what else, though? Since we are now at war for independence, look at that. Our force limit has doubled. Doubled. Let's go ahead and build some soldiers. Do I want six? Um, five, four. Let's just go with four for now. There are, yeah, four soldiers. Okay. All right, this is good for us because his morale is very low. We roll well. There we go. We rolled well. We did it. We did the thing. All right, good, good. So since my check mark is off, he is now leaving me alone. I'm going to send one stack to Oldenburg and one stack to Lunaburg.
And now I can turn my check mark back. Well, not 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 until this army's dead. So those two armies are squished. And I'll turn my check mark on as soon as uh, as soon as they take care of Oldenburg's army. I need one more soldier to stand on Bremen. I don't have that soldier yet. He's building right now. Come on, finish the soldier. It's got to be before the Hansa finishes his soldier. Here we go. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Mm. Yes, we did it. So he's not even going to finish his soldier anymore. He's just going to stop. He's going to give up. Uh, let's go ahead and mothball this next ship. Very good. Merge the fleets. Nice. All right, check mark on in. Okay, all the armies are dead. Check mark on in Lubeck. That needs to go first. And we have to decide do we want to take any vassals in this war? We could potentially take Oldenburg and Lunenburg as vassals. That would be some aggressive expansion, and that could get us a coalition. So, eh, I don't know if I want a coalition this early in the game. Probably don't. Um, but we don't have to. We can just leave them alone. We could just take their money, take war reps, move on. I do want to take Lubeck, because Lubeck is an important center of trade, and it's on my home trade node. So I think that makes sense. Even playing tall, I think it's okay to take, you know, a center of trade on my home trade node. That's, that just makes sense to me. Let's go back to Denmark, keep relations up. Oh, Twitch chat's happy. We did it, Reddit. <laughs> Brandenburg declared on Lunaburg. Oh, Brandenburg wants a piece of the pie. So that's interesting. I wonder who's going to join that war. Nobody joined on Brandenburg's side? Yeah, nobody joined on Brandenburg's side. Who are your allies? Okay, so this is this is quite tempting. I am tempted to take Lüneburg as a vassal here, because then I could give him a little bit of Brandenburg's land, even if it's just one province. Just give it to him. Oh, that, that is so tempting. Would that be wrong? Would it be wrong to do that, to take Lüneburg as... I'm trying to decide, because this playthrough is supposed to be very passive. We're supposed to be a little peaceful nation that, that develops its own land. That's the whole point. This is what Paradox is saying is possible with the development system, is you can develop your land, you don't have to be a conquering warmonger. And I'm going to try my best. We're not going to be a conquering warmonger, darn it. Oh, goodness. I think I'm just not going to take him as a vassal. Even though this is very tempting, because Brandenburg didn't call in any allies. So that he can't bring anyone into that war. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and fast forward. Let the sieges go. Oh, it looks like the Hansa's navy has been mostly crushed. That's interesting. I did not expect that at all. All right, so now we're sitting on seven out of seven. Let's go ahead and build some more boats. We'll just fast forward through these sieges here. Conquering enemies is more fun. That's true, but I mean, that's something that we've done since the, since the dawn of time. All of my Let's Plays have all been conquering everything. Oh, look, free Monarch points. All of my Let's Plays have all been conquering all the things. And we're not going to do that this time. This time is going to be a different different style playthrough. A first, a first time for me. Today is definitely opposite day for me. All right, now we have to, we have a choice here. Do we want to keep 53-year-old Syndic Martin Henkel and lose 10 more tradition? Or do we want to get a new guy and keep our tradition? Uh, I think we're going to play this as a proper republic. And a proper republic would elect new people most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. So we're going to try to keep our tradition as high as possible. If we can elect new people... Uh, I mean, if we can keep our dude and keep our tradition up, then I'll keep the dude. But since right now our tradition is a little low, we're going to take the new dude. It's a calculated assessment of the situation. Austria is declared on Venice. That's all fun.
horn plots. Oh man, there you go. We're gonna lose 10 more tradition or lose stability. So this is the second time we've had this event. We just started, we've only been playing for eight years and we've already had this event twice. It really stinks that in, in eight years we can lose 20 tradition even while we still have elections. All right, Oldenburg has fallen. Bremen is now being sieged and send this soldier home. Build some more boats. Yeah, it looks like we don't even have to worry about the naval war anymore. It's pretty much won. So why don't we go ahead and put our boats on patrol trade. The Hansa has one heavy and two trade ships. There goes Lubeck. Got your capital. Turn off check mark. How many provinces do we have? One. Isn't it nice? We got one province. It's adorable. So I talked about maybe taking Lauenburg as a vassal. But to do that, I have to fight Pomerania, and I really don't want to fight Pomerania. He's my ally. We could do it, though. We could go to war with Lauenburg and take him as a vassal. We'd have to fight Pomerania, who has... He has 8,000 soldiers and a pretty good general. I think we're going to skip that. We're going to skip that. All right, the Hansa's navy has been forced out. We're now fighting the Hansa's navy. And uh, we killed it. We killed the Hansa Navy. We sunk one ship. Oh, we didn't kill it. Oh, we didn't sink as heavy. Darn it. Gotta sink that heavy. Mothball the forts. Um, yeah, mothball my fort. Mothball Lubeck, and Mothball Bremen. Yeah, good call. That's a lot of saved money. Thank you for pointing that out. I was not thinking. All right, so for Oldenburg, we're not going to take him as a vassal. We are going to piece him out. We're going to take all of your cash. Well, no, no, no. We're not going to take his money because I don't want any of the inflation from money. So we're going to make him get rid of his claims, take his uh, war reps, get rid of his alliances, and that's it, I think. Yeah. Oldenburg beast out. Nice. Another boat is done. And Lunenburg is sieged. Okay. So come on home from Pomerania. And let's peace out Lunenburg here. Now the question is, do we want Brandenburg to get that land? If we want Brandenburg to get that land, then we can peace out now. Otherwise, we can hold on to the war for a little while. No, no, no. We'll, 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 let, it, we'll let Brandenburg have the land. We could take it. Oh. Oh, that is so tempting. Oh, I'm trying not to play like a mean... I'm not going to take it. I'm trying not to play like that. I'm trying to play the Tall Nation. And the Tall Nation would not take that land. Oh, that's so tempting. All right, peace. Now, Lubeck, you're mine. Independence, 22 war score, war reparations. And what else can we do? We can make him release Bremen as a separate state. So the Hansa as a nation will cease to exist. No more Hansa. 
Bremen will be released as a separate nation. That'll cost us 48 Diplo to do that. And uh, Lubeck will be ours. We'll get 12... 12 aggressive expansion, which is only the base cost. Then you have to factor in the culture and the religion. And the culture and the religion uh, affect it immensely. So this 12.4 becomes 31 for everyone who's uh, Catholic and in our same culture. That's pretty good. You need that to form Hanover? That's true, but we don't have to form Hanover. We can form Hanover. It's a possibility. We don't have to. All right, we're going to get four prestige for releasing Bremen. We're going to get uh, two prestige for war reparations, and we're going to get four prestige for taking Lubeck. Fantastic. The tall nation needs to build up at least some amount of a land base. True, but that doesn't mean we have to do it all the time. And I certainly don't want to uh, become a blob. We are not going to become a hum blob. Oh my God, France has invaded England. What happened? England, where's your armies? Twitch chat, thanks for pointing that out. I didn't even notice. Anyway, let's go ahead and get our piece. So Bremen will be released. Lubeck will become mine. And I guess we don't need war reps because he won't exist anymore. But we'll take it anyway because that counts as uh, two prestige. Yeah, great. Done. There we go. Hans is gone, everybody. Hans is gone. We now have control of Lubeck. And uh, we could lower the cost of coring by lowering our war exhaustion. Yeah, let's do it. Lower the war exhaustion. That brings the cost from 191 down to 171. Good times. Now we need to set rivals. And look at this. We just we just released Bremen in a peace deal. We just released him in a peace deal. What does he do? He rivals us. What are you doing? We just released you in a peace deal. You didn't exist before now. Before now, you were someone's figment of imagination. You were their imaginary friend. Now you exist, plus 100 relations. Yay, I'm independent. I can do my own thing now. Yay, thank you so much, Hamburg, for helping me out. I'm independent, I love it. By the way, I hate your guts forever. <laughs> what the hell, Bremen? That's so dumb. Ah, yes, but now we have to pick our rivals and we have to choose wisely. We get to choose between Bremen, who rivaled us, Gel Ray, who's Oh my goodness, Gel Ray! Look at that. He had, he took this province, Cleef, and he also took Utrecht. Wow, Gel Ray. We could rival Luneborg, who we just pieced out. We could rival uh, Lauenborg. We could rival Verden, which is this guy. Hmm. Well, why don't we wait and we'll find out who rivals us? But that's gonna have to be next time. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. We're independent, baby. We've done it. We did the thing. Syndic Kurt Dreyer has done the thing. Come back next time to see what happens in independent tall Hamburg. By the way, we now have a second center of trade. So nice. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.